Hello students, so I've had a question on the anonymous Padlet wall which says in Practical 3 I'm downloading the ArcGIS online and it goes to a pinfo rather than a package info. This would have been a great question for the forum but I'll reply with an answer and to the anonymous question but I use the forum, get students ans answering as well as myself. Uh, get a much quicker reply. Anyway, so I assume it's because you are in a, uh, you've shared the map with a group and you're trying to download it from a group. So I've created an example here. We're in a, a calm field group and I can um, look at this uh, example here. Calm map. And if I go open in desktop, open an arc map, it's gone to an item, PK info, which is not what I want. So, what you can do is open it in Map Viewer and create a version of it, save a version of it first. So, first, check it out. Looks good. Yep, thanks for sharing that with me. I'm going to save as and I'm going to make a copy of it. Calm, I'm just, let's rename that. Um, uh, calm, it's probably your iPad data, so I'm going to call it Calm uh, Feature Class. 2019 map. Uh, it's going to put it in this folder, save map. So now when I go to my content, I can go to that folder, there it is there. There's the map, click on that, have a look. And this time when I go open in ArcGIS, I can open in Arc map, and there you go. It's downloaded a package info rather than an item info. And that's the one that we want to open. Now, here's a word of caution with this. Um, when it's downloaded, uh, it'll be on your, in your downloads folder by default. So we can cut that and put it into our local directory. Um, however, when we go ahead and double click that and open our map, it's going to have to open it with the default of over the network. Once it's open, then you can change that to uh, local, but it will slow us all down if we're all doing that at the same time. Uh, try and do that out of hours, I, um, out of class, uh, would be a much faster way of doing it rather than competing for network space with everybody else. So once it's open, uh, you can then go to the GPS data, right click that, go export data, save that as a shapefile, then close that map down and add the shapefile to your existing maps. And that's how you do it. Good luck and keep mapping.